Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. We have an exciting day ahead of us. We are taking two of our piglets to Kentucky to a good friend by the name of Daniel Walker, who has a YouTube channel called Copperhead Road Homestead, and he has a really good homestead. Let's get these pigs loaded up and let's get up there. <laughs> Well, I thought I was going to get them both. Oh, All right. Daniel, I got your last one here. Woo. <laughs> Thank got a little hossy with me. We're gone. Let's go. We made it to Copperhead Road Homestead, believe it or not, in one piece. Took us a little over three hours. So we've met the kiddos. This here is Daniel Walker. I don't know if you've seen any of his videos, but I'm gonna leave a link in the description for his channel and just go over there and see what he's doing. He's got a really nice homestead here and he's got more pigs than I do, believe it or not. And uh, so you might, just want to subscribe to his channel and follow along because he does a lot of stuff. He, he's got a challenge going on called hashtag plant every day. He's the hashtagingest fella I've ever known. And anyway, it's pretty fun to follow along and watch all that. So we're gonna get these pigs. We're gonna get them over here to his pig pen. And uh, then we're gonna take a little tour around, see what he's got. These guys right here, if you watch their channel, they will put on a show at the end of every video, or pretty much a, a lot of the videos anyway. These guys can dance like you never seen, and you gotta go check that out. <laughs> Yeah, they wouldn't have stayed in there. I've done no. it before. That's what happens, folks, when you got your pigs raised off grid and you bring them down here to the electric. I tell you, they don't know what to do. I just bragged on y'all and said how smart y'all were. Oh, don't touch it! Don't touch it! One with the little bitty babies. Yeah. Oh man. No. Man, she's kind of nipping at me a little bit. But. Oh man. <laughs> what kind of pig is this? It's got part Cooney in there um, and just mini pig. Oh yeah. man, that is so neat. That's pretty right there. Your little kids can hold them too if you want. They Kayla, might like come it. here. <laughs> I've got some little baby bunnies you can hold too in a little walkie oh, bike. Oh man. Baby bunnies. The thing you've got here, I really like the big oak trees. Wow, yeah. them things will yeah. feed them pigs. I know, I know. And this is a persimmon over here. Oh, it, it yeah. drops down. Yeah. Uh, you know, some persimmons. Yeah. Uh, have you had persimmons before? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're great. They, they've they're got great. a weird texture almost. It almost leaves a weird <laughs> thing in your mouth. Yeah, I've got you, a bunch of persimmons over here. If you eat them a little too green, it'll yeah. leave a lot, we, a lot yeah. in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. And I've been we, doing a low carb diet, so I don't we, eat a whole lot of fruit usually. Uh -huh. like, we killed uh -huh. some chickens and uh, I need to do the low carb diet. Are these full grown? It's my bike. Yeah, I, well, my yeah, I think that most of them are. Uh, I've had that no, one no, last two years. Uh -huh. This is Pepper. You know, she's a hey. sweet pig. Huh? Yeah. She's a sweet pig. You, you, yeah. If you want. If, oh, Pepper. <laughs> Uh, you got you Pepper can... and Peggy and Penelope I and Petunia is my Mingalitza sow. Okay, so is it a Cooney cross? I think it's a Cooney mix. This one, this one, and my boar over there are all, you know, siblings. They're all, uh, and I thought these two were bred by that boar, but I kept them by themselves all winter and, you know, nothing ever happened. Hmm. So, but this, uh, these other ones, uh, you know, they've been by themselves and they've done perfectly. She, yeah. uh, she had seven and they're all seven still there and fine. Finally, so. So are are the all seven with them in there? Yeah, there's seven, uh, you know, in there. They've only okay. they're only about a week old, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. They're, they're pretty great, young. great. But uh, some people want them, you know, because as far as uh, processing a mangalitsa, you know, it's hard, you know, yeah. it's a job. It's a job. But you can process one of these, you yeah. know, quickly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. 
We we yeah. made a goat. We have goat in our freezer. But anyway, yeah. you can process one of these really quickly, and you know they can make good pets too if you train them. You know, uh -huh. right for beginning. Have so. you processed one of these yet? I haven't. <laughs> I'd like to know, you know, if they have the darker meat like the mangalitsa or what kind of meat they've got. Yeah. yeah. And they say, well, you know, it tastes like pig. Uh, <laughs> so it might not be quite as uh, great, but uh, yeah. But, the beautiful thing, and the thing that I really like about what we do is uh, we homestead with Nan and Papa, and I can introduce yeah. you to them in a minute if you want to walk up the hill. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, Peaberry right here. Uh, okay. You, you got to have a male and a female of those, and then there's some pumpkin inside it. Okay. And up here, there's a crab apple, there's some plums, uh, there's peaches, there's apples. You go swaggers, you take them. There's a big mulberry right over there. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. 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 Wild cherries actually produce, some of them produce pretty good cherries. Yeah, here's some of our beans. The thing got found. But we had more things. Over here. It didn't get killed by the frost or yeah. anything. Yeah. Well, this is frost sad, too. Oh, man. Have you planted anything besides, like, corn and uh, beans and stuff? Or, uh, we do have some tomatoes out, but we didn't put them out until the frost was over. Here's his topsy-turvy tomato plant that he has made a video about. You might want to look that up. I'll show you these bunnies. Let your kids hold one of those if they want to. Oh, yeah. Oh, come here, Kaylin. You want to hold a baby? Mm -hmm. Here, you hold this one. You want to hold one? Uh, yeah, here. Can I hold one? They grow fast. I know. Here's, here's some that were born just a few days ago. This mama's a little mean. Yeah. I haven't I raised any for years. It's uh, probably... Oh, look at that. This is absolutely May baby. I one, Calico. I know, ate one before. Oh, that's so cute. Ain't that cute? <laughs> yeah, that was only born a few days ago. Come here, man. You want to kiss? The bun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But this is part of my survival, you know, uh -huh. pantry. You can raise more meat from rabbits uh, than you can, you know, my cattle. There's my yeah. cows over there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the way you've got them here is good. I've, I've had friends in the past try to raise them, and they oh, always kill their papa. babies every time. Really? Kill their babies. Oh, man. I yeah. didn't build it to the exact right specifications. Well, it looks good to me. Yeah. Um, they're not complaining. No, no. They like it. <laughs> Here's that mullein I found. Yeah. This is a current, a red current. Okay. My uh, apples Apple? got rust on there yeah. uh, uh, from all these cedar trees. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, you can't stop it. It's yeah. it's ridiculous. And I don't want to really spray them if I can help it. Yeah. Uh, there's my Irish Dexter cattle up there. Yeah. The black one just had a uh, calf not too long ago. We just banded that black calf down there. Okay. And did I? Did you know I started out with Dexter's? That was did my you? first. Oh, really? And we we of course as we had more children we needed more milk. Yeah. So we I don't even milk them. You know. Yeah. Yet. I, that's one reason I got them, you know. Yeah. And we were going to try to sell them, but Papa said, well, all this stuff going on that uh, would, you know, might just go yeah. and keep them, you know. Plus, cattle are down. Yeah. Well, dumb stuff, too. You know, but, uh, I don't know what to do with that. These are uh, friends from YouTube. He's got his own channel. Where are you at? I thought you were closer than you were. I thought you were in, like, Clarksville or something. No, I'm in Cookville. Okay. There you go. Yeah, okay. they're, they're not, not too far from Memphis. Yeah. Uh, I'm McGee, McGee. <laughs> and these are his boys. Red Nation. Yeah. Uh, this is Nana. This is the one that milks the goats. <laughs> one of them. Yeah. That's Buddy. Oh, Buddy. Yeah. Hey, Buddy. Buddy Buddy lost his mate. Oh. So I am now his mate. <laughs> is that an honor? <laughs> I'm not real sure about that. <laughs> A lot of geese are mean, but you know these aren't. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Daddy. They, but they're loud. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here, Molly. Molly, you got food. Here, Molly. They can't uh, come. Here's yeah. our Muscovy ducks. Yeah. Molly, come. Molly. We got some ruined ducks around here too. Yeah. On the pond. They just got fed. Molly, come. We got every day milk every day about noon. Okay. Once a day milk. Yeah, they, they weren't doing it once or twice, but it was so much, you know, you had to do it 12 hours apart. Do you build twice a day? He does. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, he's, yeah. he's a trooper. Looks like your boys are pretty hard workers. Oh, they do really good. Yeah. Did yours help a lot when they were, you know, that age too? Or, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got them started when they were uh, just big enough to walk. Yeah. <laughs> At first, they're in the way, but it pays off, you yeah. know, in the long run to let them do their... Be in the way. 
So uh, these goats, uh, you know, Nana said that uh, people have told her that goats won't stay behind electric uh, very well, but ours stay in, in here. Oh, just, that's good. Just fine, yeah. You can tell by looking at them that they are fed really well. I mean, yeah. they're, they're, their coat is shiny. Yeah, they milk all the time, and yeah. they, you know, they supplement their feed. Teach me how to you know, milk and do all that stuff, and I've milked a couple of times. You know, if they want to take a vacation or something like that, uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, you know, they could. But, uh, but we own all the way over you know, to that tree line, everywhere those trees are. Yeah. And just past that tree line, so we bought the 80 acres. So good. Over there. So good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. That's a lot of wheat. Is that uh, that's rented? Wheat. That's rented. Okay. You know, I, I have visions of us one day taking it all back. But yeah. All right, we're calling Ernie Hatmaker. She is a YouTuber that got me in contact with this dude. Hello? Hey, Ernie. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm okay, how are you? <laughs> She's incognito, I don't know. Uh, here's Daniel. We're over here right in front of my garden. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're right here. We're right here in front of his garden. I was. I just told. Uh, uh, just told Micah about the. Excuse me, sir. I just told Micah about the the Osage Orange from that first video that I had to point everybody to. I said these are those Osage Orange, and he's like, "Yes, we need to call Ernie." So here we are talking to Miss Ernie Hatmaker. All right. I think, <laughs> I think about 21 of the 25 have uh, got green on them, so I'm happy to give you one. You just come over here one day, and you're welcome. No, to one. <laughs> oh boy. That's right. That's right. Honey eating in secret. <laughs> what what kind of chickens did I see was posted down there? Uh, attack chickens. Yeah, they've got attack chickens very near those trees. I oh, saw yeah. it posted. Oh man, you're in big trouble if you come up there. And geese too. Yeah. Oh wow. I've already dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> oh so we've been all over his property and i brought him a couple pigs and i still haven't paid him for them yet no i'm <laughs> but it... we are having a little bit of fun yeah <laughs> the pig the piglets weren't used to the uh the electric fencing and they had a pretty good time trying to learn <laughs> it took them a little while I think I need to have uh, have Micah touch it just to show everybody that it's not you know <laughs> it's not gonna hurt you real bad. I think I think I ought to make him do that. Yeah, I'm not very civil. <laughs> oh me. Well, so glad you guys could share a little bit of airtime here. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to say also to those watching on the on the YouTube channel that this Ernie Hatmaker needs to be subscribed to you go find her channel she'll probably leave a comment under this video if she don't we can put her uh channel link in the descriptions of this video right. you guys need to check her out she is awesome i know i'm a little bit civil <laughs> i might not grab a hot wire for her but <laughs> oh come on micah <laughs> I tell you. Okay, well, I'm glad that you guys are, uh, are doing stuff. You're doing homesteading stuff. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. that we moved, we would have loved to have gone out and done some homesteading stuff, too. Well, I guess Arkansas has room for homesteaders. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, there's a ton of them here, actually. I'm, I'm very surprised. We're planning on visiting a few of them. Hopefully, we visit them before Roots Life so we can say, ha-ha. <laughs> You know, we have a saying about Arkansas and Kentucky. In Kentucky, we're ranked 49th in education. We have a saying, thank God for Arkansas. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Shots fired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're awful proud we was able to talk to you, Ernie. Yeah, check out Ernie's channel. Thanks for, thanks for thank visiting us, Ernie. Have fun. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. I plan to. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, so this is Copperhead Road Homestead. 
The guy knows what it means to get out and get dirty. I tell you what, <laughs> there's plenty of dirt. And of course, as you know, on our homestead, there's dirt. And a homestead's not a homestead without dirt. It ain't. And pigs love dirt. So there's nothing to me more homesteady than a pig. That's oh, yeah. just the epitome of homesteading is pigs. And if you don't have a pig and you're a homesteader, more power to you. But we're going to have pigs around That's here. Right. <laughs> so anyway... Hit up Copperhead Road. I'm going to have him in the descriptions. And I think you'll really love what he does. You'll love his kids. You'll love his animals. His, his wife actually get on his channel. So. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. See you later, boys. Y'all have a good day, okay? Yeah. Yay. Bye.